Hello, design lovers. I'm Ashley Childers, and I'm so excited for today's video because we are doing our very first DIY together. I'm going to teach you how to create a beautiful, large-scale wall mural on panels that you can hang in any room of your home. I know you're going to love today's video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button as we drop a new design-driven video every Saturday. I want to really quickly show you what the finished product looks like. So as you can see, we've got a massive wall mural in three different panels hung on my wall. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Now, let's head outside and I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to recreate this gorgeous wall panel look in your own home. Before we move into creating our mural panels, I wanted to talk through the items that you'll need to recreate this for your home. So first of all, I purchased the mural um, from an Etsy store and we will link it below. It's a really great, beautiful mural and the paper quality is really high quality. So, um, I highly recommend this mural store and it was really affordable too. Now, what I did was after I purchased the mural uh, and received it um, in the mail, I measured each panel exactly. And there's three panels in this wall mural. So what we did is we purchased three sheets of MDF and I went with the half inch MDF because it's so much lighter than the three quarter inch. The three quarter inch MDF um, is more rigid. MDF is just, it's wood that has been compressed so it has a very smooth surface area and it's perfect to put wallpaper over. So we had, we purchased our MDF. They come in four foot by eight foot sheets, which was the right height. We needed eight foot high, but I needed the width trimmed down. So we had our trim carpenter cut the boards down so that they match the size of each of the wall panels perfectly. Then we added some structural support on the back. So we have pieces of one by threes along the top and bottom and center of the panels to create support and also for a place to hang our hooks that we're going to attach the panels to the wall with. So I'll show you that a little bit later. Now then, the other items that you'll need to create this yourself. So you're gonna need screws, obviously, and make sure that you measure your screws um, so that they are the length they need to be to add your support to the back and then not come through the front of the panel. You're going to need some wood filler. We filled all of the screw holes in with wood filler, a little sanding block, sanding the, sanding the, the wood filler, and then you're going to need some wallpaper paste. This is just a super easy one that I grabbed at the local hardware store a little roller to put the wallpaper paste onto your panel and you're going to wanna to make sure that you get one with a smooth nap so that the wallpaper paste goes on very smoothly on the MDF. A little holder for your wallpaper paste and then I have a spatula to put the wood putty on and a rag to clean off our MDF and make sure it's very well um, prepared for the wallpaper paste and then a couple of uh, gloves because I'm messy when I deal with wallpaper paste. So you're going to want some gloves. And then these are the hooks that I purchased to add to the back of our panels so that we can hang them on the walls. These panels are going to be pretty heavy. So we're going to want to make sure that they are attached to the wall really securely and using these D hooks and um, making sure that our screws are attached into the two by fours in our wall is going to make sure that these stay secure on our walls. Okay, now that we've gone through all of the supplies you need, let's get to creating our beautiful wall mural. Mm -hmm. 
We have rolled out the center panel of our wall mural and I suggest starting with the center panel because since it's going to be sandwiched between the two outside panels, I feel like there's a little more room for error in the center and since it's the first one that we're going to um, attach to our backer board today, I wanted to start in the center. So I took some time, made, sh made sure that all of the edges and corners were lined up. And then what I'm going to do is very gently, I want to start from top to bottom. So I'm going to very gently roll it back and then we will start applying our wallpaper paste from the top to bottom. Now that we have the top section of the mural applied to the board with the wallpaper paste, it's going to stay in place so we can roll up the panel from the bottom and then work our way from the top to the bottom for the rest of the wallpaper adhesive. We have finished up with our first panel and it probably took like eight minutes to do that panel. So this is our center panel, like I said before, we're going to add the wallpaper mural panels to our wooden backer board for the right and left panel. And then it'll be time to hang our gorgeous wall mural. that we have completed our three panels hanging the wallpaper on the MDF, I want to talk you through the steps that we need to take in order to hang the panels onto the wall. As I mentioned earlier, we already attached the one by threes to the back of our MDF boards for extra support and as a space to hang our D-rings on. So our D-rings are going to be our hangers. I attached two D-rings per panel and each one of them holds 100 pounds. So they are completely efficient for what we are doing. Then after we did that, we took a lot of measurements. So the measurements between each one of the D-rings on the individual panels, the measurements of how high we wanted each one of the panels to hang, and then of course, the separation between the three panels, which is only about a quarter of an inch. I wanted them to be hung really close together. Now, I had to have some assistance on hanging these panels on the walls, so my husband and my son were my DIY assistants for the day. Between the three of us, we were able to hang the panels on the wall 
we started with the center panel. And like I said earlier, these panels are eight feet tall. And this wall in our great room is really large. And I love that our home is open concept, that it's light and bright, but I did want to bring some color to this side of our great room. And I love large format art. And instead of just attaching the wall mural panels directly to the wall, I love the concept of creating individual movable panels so that if I decide that I want to move this art installation somewhere else in our home or to another home, I can do so. So we started hanging the center panel first, got all of our measurements right, measure twice, put your screw in the wall once, and we centered that one up where we wanted it on the wall. I knew that I was going to put this buffet in front of the wall panel, so we lined everything up and centered it. Then after we hung the center panel, we were able to add the panels on each side and really it was very easy. Like I said, it took, I took a couple of extra hands because the panels are pretty heavy. So this is certainly something that you're going to want some assistance on if you're doing this DIY project at home. But as you can see, it turned out so beautifully and it brings so much color and interest to this side of our great room. Because it is so large, I really did approach this application like it was truly on the wall. So I put pieces of furniture in front of it and I think it just integrates this artwork into the room really beautifully. But if you don't want to do such a large application in your home, you can customize your wall mural to various sizes. We're going to put the Etsy link below to the shop that I purchased this wall mural from, like I said earlier, but there's hundreds of them on Etsy and various websites that you can find and you can customize the size because they custom print them to your dimensions. I really hope that you enjoyed this DIY video. I want you to let me know in the comments if this is something that you want to try for your own home and if you have any questions about my process or tips that I may have for you. Now, if you want a little sneak peek into my daily design adventures, be sure to follow us over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home. And if you want even more designer goodness right now, you're going to wanna watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you for watching and remember, Good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you, have fun DIYing a wall mural for your home and fall in love with where you live one room at a time. Mm -hmm.